Good morning. So, we'll see how long this sticky thing sticks because I put it in one spot and then I didn't like how it was too tight up against my steering wheel so I wanted to move it. Um, but the sticky ripped a little bit but hopefully since it's still so fresh and I was able to move it quick, 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 um, that way I can use this um, for now. Until I can get a magnet um, phone holder. Oh, my teeth hurt. So I'm on my way to Ralph's because the post office opened eight minutes ago. But I was busy um, trying to get the phone holder done. And like I know it's not a great angle from a double chin, but that's okay. So I posted in this beginning keto group about my fear of keto and um, the time constraints and having to learn all this. And right now it's okay because I'm not working, but when I go back to work, like I have all this and I'm trying to research and I'm trying to learn as much as possible. Um, and I was trying to ask people, when did it click for them? When was it okay for them? And I said, you know, in some of these extreme keto people in the group, it's kind of making me like turn off from it because, and then one guy, and of course he's an, he's a moderator because he approved my post. He's like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, when people get snippy, when people are asking questions, like it's a, a huge turn off from dealing with and trying to find out more about this. They call it, whoa way of eating. Somebody, some people call it wool, way of life. And then I said, you know, we're currently semi-keto, but nobody asked what that meant to me and immediately said that it's lazy keto, that we're eating keto type foods, but we're not cutting out carbs and sugar. You didn't ask me. You clearly haven't seen any of my other posts in the group. I stopped drinking soda. It is, it is May fifth month of the year so I haven't had soda in almost six months because I just decided I didn't want it um, I don't eat that much candy anymore and I've even started buying the items to make the keto candy even though I'm not a big dark chocolate fan uh, milk chocolate's kind of because of the milk. Um, and for the most part, I've cut my carbs way down. Yesterday was a very carb heavy day. Um, <clears throat> but for the most part, I've cut my carbs way down. And I have lost inches because my clothes fit better um, but I'm worried that when I go back to work that I'm not gonna have time and I wanted their opinion on their struggles I'm being called lazy. I can't eat exactly the way they want me to eat. I don't tolerate fats, certain fats very well. I can't do mayonnaise. Um, if I eat too much mayonnaise, it really upsets my stomach. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of recipes of theirs I can't do because I can't have mayonnaise. And mayonnaise is a source of fat. And it's supposed to be high fats, high proteins. One lady who was, ironically, the lady who called me lazy, said that she had a weight loss surgery, a switch. And so she doesn't tolerate fats well unless it's m with a lot of food. And I'm like, um, so she does a one-to-one -one fat to 
protein ratio um, and suggested that instead of because like for my height and activity level it's recommended about um, 83 grams of protein but it's like a hundred and something grams of fat so she suggested a one a one-to-one -one instead of um, the four to one or whatever Mouse. such a cute sign nice lady at the post office today um, and uh, at first she's like you know how do you want to ship it and I was like well it depends on the price and um, so she checked and regular which is like five to seven days versus priority was less than a dollar difference so I paid the for priority so it'll get there in two days um then I went and got my coffee and used my cup although I think she charged me more than she should have but you know whatever it's because I got half and half I'm um trying to up my fat intake my body is not used to it So I got a bunch of, I got a, I got a couple more responses and I got a guy that responded to my group that like fully understands what I'm saying. Like I'm a part of these groups because the recipes are great, but I'm worried about the time. Um, I have learned what to look for, what to check, how to calculate, you know, for good foods. And I've learned a lot of really good things. Um, you know what to avoid and I am making better choices but I wanted to know about people's journey and I you know I figured I'd get attacked a little bit I figured um, but he was like you know what like you I was worried about the amount of time it takes to prep he goes I don't have time for that either but I did want to make changes He's like, so for the first two weeks, counted my macros, learned what to avoid, what to do. He goes, so I live a semi-keto lifestyle. He goes, I understand what you're talking about. He goes, and I'm still finding success. Um, and he goes, so hopefully you will too. And he goes, and I'm a part of these groups because the recipes that they put in here are great. And I'm like, you know what? Mm -hmm, I agree. They are amazing. I love the recipes that I am finding in this group. Um, and that's why I'm in these groups. And I guess people didn't like me calling them extreme keto and how they get snippy. And one person's like, well, I'd rather be snippy um, and then get wrong information. It's like, you know what? You can talk to a person like a human being. You don't have to be a jerk because someone has a different point of view or someone's asking, oh, I thought this was it. Um... And they're like, no, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong. It's like, calm down. It's not that serious, bro. It's really not that serious. And some people just didn't understand what I'm talking about, but I need to get in here so I can get my nails done. Ooh. So, get my nails done. I did a very basic, really light purple, kind of like seasonal, I mean springtime, nice lavender color. I found that the ladies at my shop think my dad is hilarious because I take my dad and the boyfriend to uh, the nail salon to get pedicures when my boyfriend first got back from school because he doesn't take care of his feet and he needed his feet taken care of and um, my dad decided he wanted to get his feet done too and it was just dad jokes galore like they thought it was hilarious. 
the only thing I didn't like about my nail experience today is the fact that normally it takes an hour to do my nails because I got the hard gel, the liquid hard gel. But it took two hours today because they had a trainee um, taking the gel polish and filing my nails down. To file the gel polish um, layer down. And he took an hour just to do that. Which throws my schedule off. I'm an hour behind. So I need to get cracking on my homework, cracking on the extra work, started, like my schedule is thrown off. So I'm a little frustrated because I should have been home by 10, well a little after 10 because of the drive, and already started on my homework. And I'm not. Oh, dang it, my sign fell off. Why did my sign fall down? Oh, my Bruin sign fell down. Let me get parked in the garage and figure out what in the hell not cool so I worked on my assessment submitted it I have to finish his additional work that he has assigned for me this week before I'm done with this week and then I'm gonna start next week's paper it's a two-page paper where I make up my own cyber criminal and then the week after that is when we have to um, write a paper on how our the police are going to find our criminal. I don't know. It's kind of stupid. So um, I'm going to take a short break. I'm going to go get the shelving unit that I purchased. It's supposed to be super easy to put together, get the cats squared away, and then... Um, kind of let my brain recharge oh shit what happened there we go kind of let my brain recharge before trying to go at this question um because i'm super frustrated with this class and i'm super frustrated with all the extra work he's assigning me i get assigned extra work every week and i am starting to get tired of it so um i want to get that done and I just I just need I just need a break I I just want school to be over I have a couple more classes I'm getting burnt out it's ridiculous but four more classes yeah four more classes then I'm done and I'll have my master's Thank God. <sighs> you guys, I got those questions done that I needed to get done. And then I only half asked my discussion board question because I'm just, I'm so burnt out. I'm, I got two weeks left in this class and I'm so burnt out. And like, I'm actually looking forward to writing a two page paper. Like I'm looking forward to writing a paper. Like that's how bad it is. I'm stressed. I, I just don't, you guys. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, I have a handful of classes left. I got like four classes left and I know I'm done. And I know I've been whining about this a lot, but my brain hurts. I'm tired. My brain hurts. I feel like I am just going to just, I don't know. I just, I'm done. My brain hurts. My arm hurts. Everything hurts. You ever have those days where just everything is going wrong and, like, nothing is going right? Um, I got my nails done today, so, I mean, at least I got that done. And I got my nephew's package sent out like I needed, and that's about it. And I have a lot more research I need to do for the next week, and I need to write a paper. I think it's two pages this week, five page next week. Um, and then a week break and then the next class starts over and I have global terrorism is the next class. So we'll see. Yes. We gotta hurry. So we just got our traditional stop at 7-Eleven to pick her up a snack before gymnastics. We are going to cut it really close. So as soon as she goes in, she's got to give me her shoes and head on into class. But 
that's okay. Because fueling up with a snack is important when you're about to do a lot of aerobic exercise. Which makes you bring your water bottle in, please. And I want her to get a little snack a snack so she doesn't have a snack attack while she is in class a class. Um. Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. People who don't know how to drive. It is simple. It is simple. Simple. Oh, shoot. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. That's my bad. That's my bad. That was my bad, guys. I was in the wrong lane. That's my bad. We'll just we'll just attribute it to my bad arm. <laughs> um, so I was doing more research into keto, and I feel like it is obtainable. You know, I'm really gonna stop. It's, uh, I hate saying I'm not gonna talk about it, but it's like the what's the forefront on my mind. But I'm gonna stop for now because we are dum ba da bum at gymnastics. Woo! You ready? Did you show everyone your little panda you got too? She got a little. She got a little treat. <gasps> Baby panda, and his name is Puck. Puck the panda. What a name! There's your dad's car. Uh, your dad's truck's right there. All right, you guys. Shredding cheese takes a lot of strength, more than I anticipated. Cheese crispies. Ooh, they look so good. It's it's bedtime. Good night, y'all.